it didn't feel uh, that participating would help its cause. And often children are the most vulnerable uh, at times of food shortages in North Korea. The agency says that it's often children who suffer the most. Uh, but you're right, North Korea's parlous economic state means that it really needs China's support and help. And it's no surprise, perhaps, that they're really trying to put on uh, this show of uh, unity and strength and support for the, for the torch today, uh, feeling that it's exactly what uh, the political leaders in China would have hoped for. And what was the situation in Seoul? Much sign of, of any dissent there? Well, before the uh, relay began uh, in Seoul on Sunday, there were threats to disrupt it by uh, groups of human rights protesters focusing on one issue, the, uh, the, the forcible repatriation of North Korean refugees from China to North Korea. When North Korean refugees, who often cross the border in search of food, are discovered in China, they are forcibly returned. And human rights groups say uh, that on their return, they often face severe punishment. Now, those groups were out alongside the route of the relay yesterday in Seoul, trying to make that point. And there were some scuffles. But interestingly, yesterday, we saw large numbers of Chinese students, many of them studying here in South Korea, uh, coming out and waving the Chinese flag in support of the relay and uh, really overwhelming the anti-Chinese protests in terms of, uh, of, of numbers. But of course, it's very, very unlikely we'll see anything similar uh, repeated in Pyongyang today. This is a country uh, that uh, severely restricts its citizens' uh, freedom of movement. Uh, there is no freedom of speech, no freedom of media and uh, protest is absolutely not tolerated. What little there has been over the past 50 years has been very, very swiftly dealt with. John, thank you very much to John Sudworth, live in Seoul for us. Well, a special Olympic flame has arrived at Mount Everest Base Camp. The organisers of the Beijing Games will attempt to take this flame to the top of the world's highest mountain. Well, the BBC's Jonah Fisher is in Baida Township in Tibet, about 80 kilometres from Mount Everest. He sent this report. We're about 5,000 metres above sea level in the Himalayas. These women, as you can see, are digging an irrigation ditch. Now, at 5,000 metres above sea level, there's much less oxygen in the air. Uh, and obviously, digging somewhere like this is extremely hard work. I've just arrived at this altitude. Doing practically anything uh, gets me out of breath. So these women who've been both digging and singing as they, as they carry out their work are obviously much better acclimatised to the high altitude than I am. Not many journalists have been allowed into Tibet since the unrest in Lhasa, the capital, and some of the surrounding cities in March. We've been invited, along with a number of other international journalists, to cover one specific event. That's the Olympic torches attempt to get to the top of Mount Everest, the world's tallest mountain. Everyone we've spoken to on this trip, everywhere we've been, has been planned by the Chinese authorities. We've moved around in a convoy of buses, so they've basically control of who we see and what we do. And that is the great mountain itself. You can just see the snow being blown off the very top of the mountain. First conquered in 1953 uh, by Sir Edmund Hillary and Tenzing Norgay. The story of the Olympic torches procession around the world has so far been one of protests about China's role in Tibet. The organizers of the torches bid to reach the top of Mount Everest are hoping that by doing that, They'll tra transform it into a story of Chinese achievement. A breathless and microphone rattling Jonah Fisher in Tibet there. I'm very sorry for the sound quality on that report. This is BBC News still ahead. Stolen treasure. Syria gives back hundreds of seized Iraqi artifacts looted during the overthrow of Saddam Hussein. How may I help you, sir? My client wishes me to run through her needs before staying with you. Please go ahead. She wants pure Irish bed linen and a choice of pillows. Nine would be ideal. No problem, sir.